my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here with Hawkridge Systems and today we're going to be taking a look at importing the title blocks into SolidWorks Electrical Schematic. So there are going to be situations where you don't necessarily want to create a title block inside a SolidWorks Electrical Schematic completely from scratch. You'd rather import an old one from a legacy project or from another CAD package or some situation like that. So that's what we're going to go ahead and go over today. Um, what you see here is a drawing that we've already gotten started here and it already has this title block and as you can see it's a little bit too big for what we need and actually according to uh, the, the standard of the documentation that we're going to go with for this project I actually want my title block off to the side on the right hand uh, side over here. So what we're going to do is swap this out for one that I've already got in SolidWorks. And so you see here, here's a SolidWorks part, here's the title block I'd like to go ahead and import. And so the first thing to do is to save this as a DWG. And I've already done this. And what you end up with is a DWG just like this. And I've opened this in draft site. So from here, we can go ahead and open it and import it directly inside of, all, inside of SolidWorks Electrical Schematic. You'll see here on the library tab here that we have this title blocks manager. And when we go to it, you see here that there's this import DWG files option. You also see that there's an option to create new. So we're going to go ahead and choose this DWG file. And an important thing to note is that if you're going to bring in an ANSI size uh, title block, you would like to be in an ANSI type project, at least an empty one, so that it gets into the right library scaled at the right size. Either, otherwise, you're going to have a hard time getting that scale to the right position and getting all the settings right. And it's just a lot easier if you're bringing it into the right area. So let's go ahead and just bring our title blocks import wizard here and you can add this by individual title block or add a folder that contains a number of different DWGs and do them as a batch. In this case we only have the one so we'll go to add files and we'll choose that DWG and hit next. You'll see here that it finds the new title block. Now this import configuration is also set up to include uh, importing attribute tags from certain kinds of electrical uh, software. You see there AutoCAD Electrical and uh, Electrical Designer uh, ePlanner are, are supported. So, But we're going to go ahead and use our no configuration here. We're just going to bring it in as a dumb title block. And you see here that if we click on our preview that it looks like it is seeing everything. So we'll hit next. And finally, next one more time, because there, no, there are no attributes for us to convert in this case. And we'll just go ahead and hit finish now. And you see that it cre creates this unclassed elements section where our title block is put into. We'll just go into the properties here and we'll switch it from the unclassed elements to the B size ANSI drawing title block. And we'll say OK and close this. And actually, I, if anything, this is an A size. But what you'll see here is that all you have to do is right click go to title block and what we'll do is we'll replace this title block with the new one that we've just added. Now if we were to add this one right now it would just have all this other stuff on top of it. So you have to do one more little step which is in the title blocks manager once you've put it in the right place you grab that title block and edit it to remove any of the old drawing elements that you had inside of it and any old attribute tags that didn't get converted or anything like that can be removed. So you see here we have these couple tags that we'll just get rid of. And we could replace all of these, of course, with SolidWorks Electrical Intelligent Attribute Tags. So if we go into like the project and look for the project creation date, we could grab that attribute tag and put it here under our date. And of course, we could double click this and make this smaller. Perhaps instead of a 0 0.1, we'll use a 0 0.35. Zero 0.035 is actually what I wanted there. There we go. And we'll just kind of position that in the right spot. Same thing here in our title area. We can grab the project tag, place that in there. Same thing, we can change this so that it's rotated 90 degrees and maybe make this a bit bigger, like a 0.35. And we could even make this into a multiple line attribute tag if we wanted to, just to make sure that it all fit inside of this box. We'll go ahead and come over here to multiple attribute selecting this guy here and again just copying the properties from one and placing it on the other should be enough to get us off to the races here. So once that's done you can go ahead and set the grid spacing. We'll go ahead and use a uh, 0.25 and 0.125 And once that's good, you can save this and close it. And now when we replace it here in our drawing by right-clicking, going to Title Block and Replace, 
you see that it's not ha it doesn't have any of that extra drawing element stuff so if we select it now you see that it fits perfectly in there and we get the name of our project placed in along with the date that we created it so this is how you go ahead and import any kind of uh, DWG or DXF type title blocks that you'd like to go ahead and get into SolidWorks Electrical Schematic. Of course, there are lots of other things you could have done with that title block. You could have added more attribute tags, changed the geometry of any of the lines, swapped out the logo for a different image. Basically, your imagination is your only limitation there, but uh, that is the sort of in a nutshell process for getting the title block as is into the software. If you like this sort of tips and tricks videos, be sure to subscribe to our Hawker Systems uh, YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.